What's good YouTube? It's your boy Charles Maurice coming at you with another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Valentine's Day. Now, I'm going to give you some of my top five favorite things to do for Valentine's. Unfortunately, it's coming from a single person, but you guys don't have to deal with it. With no further ado, let's go ahead and get right into the video. So like I said, these are going to be my top five all-time things to do for Valentine's Day. Now this is coming from me, like I said just a couple seconds ago, I am single. But these are just some ideas that I'm throwing out for all you guys who might need help. For you ladies, for you fellas, whoever. So the first idea I would say to do is actually go have dinner. And not just at some fancy ranch restaurant with fancy wine. Actually go out to the grocery store, grab the ingredients, cook this person's favorite meal, you know, dedicate, you know, a whole night to them and make sure that they're appreciative, that you're, that you are appreciative of them and that you're happy to have them in your life. So just don't, it's easy to make reservations and go to a fancy restaurant with fancy wine and bring gifts, but why not actually take out the time of your day to cook for this person and really make a meal? Even if you can't cook, you could be the worst cook. At least show the effort that you are trying to show your appreciation and your love for the other person. Tip number two is going to be kind of cheesy, but you can go out for painting and wine. I know there's places that let you like paint pottery or you might be able to like, um, you know, go and like paint on like a canvas and you can bring your own wine and cheese and kind of mingle and mix around with other couple. So this would be something more if you want to kind of still be social and go out and meet new people and other couples. You, this would be the opportunity to do that. Next one is going to be, obviously you can spin racks and racks and racks and racks on jury. Why not just, you know, get a bracelet, get a watch, get a necklace. I know these necklaces that I have on like right now is pretty much custom. You can go and pretty much find them anywhere out of a magazine, a catalog or a jewelry store and actually have it engraved with their name and you can put something nice and cute in it. So um, that's always an option. Tip number four is actually like stage the house with like roses and you know not just any color balloons not red balloons not pink balloons but like gold balloons and just like you can like spell out like i love you really big and like a centerpiece and make it like very instagram worthy kind of like you know how the you know people on social media do it's kind of cheesy but it might actually work and then last but not least, which I think is really creative, and I've seen a couple of Facebook videos about it, is if you actually just create a scavenger hunt for your person. So maybe you do want to go to a fancy, fancy restaurant and you think it's just like, ah, I want to like bump the ante a little bit. So why not when your spouse gets home from work or, you know, they wake up in the morning, leave like little clues, like blues clues and like put a note here, clue one, kind of like, um, that movie with Ben Affleck and his wife framed him. I can't think of the name, but Gone Girl. Like the movie Gone Girl, how she left like clues and shit. <laughs> Leave clues for your spouse on Valentine's Day in a nicer way, but in a very nicer way. Um, I hope these tips have been helpful. If you guys like videos like this, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Also hit the subscribe button down below. Join the C-Fam. I want to wish everybody a happy Valentine's Day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.